What is that? Sorry, Lance built us a catapult. Can I have that ball back? <laughs> Why would you give it to me back? Oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alana. And I'm Ryan. Duck brand duct tape gave us six destinations and a VW bus named Rudy. Here's our journey. From the people we met to the adventures in between. And the only thing they had in common was a roll of duct tape. Today we visit a farm with Lance, a duct tape engineer. You never realize how much you love your home until you leave. And when we came back into California, I was like, oh! Yeah, this is my home. Ryan, look at these things. This is my state. What did I like about California? The sun. California is by far my favorite state to drive through. So we were meeting this guy named Lance, super amazing guy, by the way, in this garden at Laney College. And he was going to teach us how to build a dome. Hey, is it great to you? meet you? What do we do? OK, there we go. <laughs> What Lance does for a living is he takes these like engineering projects that seem kind of complicated or maybe hard to grasp and he makes them accessible to kids and he teaches them. I work at Galileo Learning, which is an innovation summer camp company for kids. And we try and develop the next generation of innovators through exciting, engaging, hands-on science and engineering projects. When I was a kid, I was always building and making things out of Lego. Uh, my parents would let me take apart old VCRs and stuff. And that part of me has just never really gone away. And I've always been into creating something out of common things. And when I found out that this is a legit adult job, <laughs> I couldn't do anything else. When I first heard we were gonna make these domes, I thought like, we're not gonna make an actual huge greenhouse. We'll make some tiny little version of it. But we got there and he was like, no, we're doing this for real and here's how simple it is. Lance made it really easy to make what could have been a complicated thing quite simple. The sticks behind you here are split up into two piles and one of them has red tape around the middle. Yeah. And that's gonna correspond with these red sticks in our diagram. He laid it out so simply that it was so easy to build this massive dome. Like I never would have thought out of like essentially sticks, plastic sheets and duct tape, we could build a greenhouse. Yee, so cool! Oh, that's a thing. <laughs> All right, so the structure is totally done. Okay. And the next part is just plasticking the whole thing. Mm -hmm. I know this is gonna go wrong. But to get it to conform to this like curved shape, um, what we're gonna do is cut out a little piece from the middle and then pull the plastic over to kind of tighten it up. So while we were building the dome, the Mindful Gardening Collective came in, which we were a bunch of like uh, students from the university. So we gave them free reign at all of our duct tape and we decorated the outside in so many weird colors and textures. I think I personally needed all the help I could get. I made a pair of overalls for Ryan. They're really cute. He looks great in overalls. <laughs> I think what made this stop different to the others is that meeting Lance felt personal. Um, we got a lot of time just to hang out with him and it was really great just to talk with someone so passionate about what they do. Lance and I built a dome and a lifelong friendship. Once we finished the dome, I was like, man, I can do anything. That was easy. And I thought I was crazy huge. Like, Lance, you're amazing. You're great at what you do. Thank you. It was kind of cool to know that I'd made, I'd been a part of making something that would be a permanent fixture of somewhere on the other side of the world. California was really great and hanging out with Lance in the gardens was really good too, but I hate the sun. So I want to move on to the Midwest. 